Hey everyone, here's our uh, sprint release video for the product marketing group for digital experience for October 6th, um, 2022. I'm gonna hand this off to Tina and we can kind of popcorn around from there. Thanks. Um, so my main focus for this iteration, can you see my screen? Do you see GitLab security and government governance? Yeah, was the security and compliance landing page uh, now called security and governance. Um, I've also been working on some, you know, iterative UX improvements for all of the solutions child pages. So I decided to apply some of those changes um, to this page too. So I'd, I'd ask Dennis to get some um, data insights um, so that we can see how those pages are performing. Also asked Carrie to take a quick look at uh, from a design lens, a UX lens. So some of the changes um, include a little wording change here for, pardon me, I'm a little bit sick, for the, um, what used to say the start your free trial. Um, we're going to try, try ultimate for free for clarity for the free trial CTAs here. Um, we've also separated out the this component here, the benefits block. There used to be like an image beside of these points, and they were just competing with each other. And there's some great videos on a lot of these pages, so we really want to highlight the videos. Um, we talked about maybe getting rid of this uh, side navigation in a lot of our meetings with UX and UI to code, but it turns out that that's the most clicked item on this page, which increases the scroll depth on this page to some converting sections like the capability section. So we're, we're gonna keep it for now. Um, what else changed here? I think the other changes. Uh, so the case studies that we used to have on these pages. So um, a lot of these pages have three case studies stacked one on top of another are one of the lowest uh, performing um, sections on these pages. Nobody clicks on them. So I want to try swapping it with like a social proof section with a testimonial. I think it'll um, be a lot more valuable and they still link to case studies. So we'll see how that goes. Um, the next uh, path for most users is pricing from the solutions and features pages. So I'm going to experiment with adding a pricing block that's also access accessible from this side navigation here. Um, and the last change um, is this, this little feature section here, um, which used to say take GitLab for a spin, is the lowest clicked item on the page. And um, we understand that it is at the bottom, but the actually the footer gets more clicks than this section. So people are just passing by it. So I just wanted to try a little wording change here instead of try GitLab for a spin, which seems kind of a bit vague. Um, we're going to try again. Um, try ultimate for free. Uh, so those are the main changes on this page. Um, and that was my main focus. This is ready for engineering. Um, another thing that I got pulled into was this a form update for the trial, but I don't think we're going ahead with it, but this was released by me um, as a design. Um, and I think that's it for me, aside from the DevOps no, what was it? The team ops, reviewing the team ops page and uh, some other stuff, KubeCon. I don't know who's next. I can stop talking. Uh, Avi, you want to go next? Yeah, I can go next. Uh, this iteration, we talked about KubeCon at the very end. We released that page. I'll share my screen for it since it's something that we had released, let me hit, I have like so many monitors now, so it's like a challenge, but this is what it looks like. Can you see it's the right screen? I hope so. So this page got released, um, collaboration between us and some of the events folks uh, worked with also updating uh, a lot of their things because they were kind of uh, in a pickle where a lot of their events team had uh, coincidentally left uh, the organization as some of the biggest events for them are happening this year. So that was a lot of fun to help them try to put out that. <laughs> um, I worked, uh, this iteration, I also worked with a small update of updating the CTA for the docs header. Um, so that was just a simple, just you know, all change, knock that out. And then the rest of my iteration, I've been working on the data layer events for the SAS trial flow that's been something that's been open for a while so then i had to go back and like unstale that work uh reopen an mr and just like see where i'm at um i'm again pretty close to finishing it i have to do 
Um, one thing with pushing the right feature flag to get the event to fire um, when using Google Tag Manager, but otherwise should be up for review. Um, and yeah, it's up for me. I'll pass it over to Margaret. Yep, so for this iteration, I mostly work on feedback for the team of landing page, uh, pre-release and post-release. I also worked on fixing a small bug in the features landing page uh, with the back button. And I also worked on implementing the breadcrumb uh, component on the summer topics pages, and that's still ongoing. Um, and I think that's it for my iteration. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna hand it to Mateo. Thank you, Margaret. Um, so at the start of this iteration, I worked on some small issues that was replacing the image on the DevOps page uh, with a new one and having the landing page for solutions feed from the new synced file that Nathan created for the features YAML. Um, I also worked on the component that we are going to use for the homepage A-B test, the featured content block. Uh, I wanted to show that one, but to merge it, I just took it out of the of the homepage so it doesn't show up while the other component is ready. And I also created a new issue to implement the actual test once the other component is in. Um, I also worked on solution child template fixes. Uh, I can show that one. Um, so it's small changes to this solution uh, pages, uh, issues with the distance for the side nav, it was too far away on large monitors, uh, colors of the icons, and then the intersection of servers of this component not working correctly. Um, and then I am also working on the DevOps tool comparison page, uh, creating this table uh, for for the comparison with the competition. And yeah, that's what I have been doing. And I will pass it over. Who hasn't <laughs> said anything yet? Uh, uh, Nathan. Thanks, Mateo. I can go quick. Uh, this iteration is a little over the place because I'm on my visiting grant right now. So it hasn't been a full week. And then I think we have what is it, friends and family day tomorrow? I'm not sure exactly where it is, but there's a lot going on. Uh, anyways, this past iteration was mostly build process stuff. Um, and so I'm just thinking as we evolve, we don't want to turn into what dub 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 was and have long builds and then, you know, get a little complacent. So I just did some research into what, what we could add maybe to our pipeline, some potential things. And so one of the tools that I added this iteration was a 404 checker. And I'll share my screen just to show off uh, how it works. Hopefully everyone can see this. See this. So now there's a step in the testing phase that all it does is it just copies over the artifacts from the build and install stages, so that it's not doing anything fancy. It's just taking the artifacts and then gonna run testing on that. And so the 404 checker checks against the dist, um, the dist directory, before it gets built or before it gets published. And inside it just checks and it compares it to the local directory and also to um, about.getlab.com because there's pages like handbook and stuff like that, which you, they're not there. They don't exist in like the review app uh, or in the build. So there's a bunch of stuff that I found like the, just writing it for the first time, there's 50 broken links on just by experience side. So some of them are just typos like this one. I, I guess that's not a page that exists anymore. Solution, it should be solutions. And so I went through and I fixed them all and I closed a bunch of 404 uh, related uh, issues. But I think that's the most of it. Another small thing was just adding um, proper page titles to all the about.getlab.com pages. Because uh, I think for SEO, we needed like a, I don't know what that's called, like the bar icon character thing, and then GitLab. So anyway, just stuff like that. But yeah, that's it for me for this iteration. Um, I think I'll hand it back to you, Justin. Ooh. Yes, the pipe. I think I always call it the pipe. I don't know if it's a pipe. Pipe, that's what it is. <laughs> Well, I think that's it.